Welcome back. Today we are talking about the best states to do van life in. We cannot wait to share our favorite states. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't know if we would to do that or not. First on our list is Tennessee. We love Tennessee, first of all. <laughs> it's a really pretty state and it does not get as much credit as, as, much credit as it deserves from van lifers. Uh, there is not a ton of public land like you'll find out west, but there is a ton of op options and opportunities, specifically along the border with North Carolina. They have a ton of campgrounds and things like that that you can stay at, and then obviously you'll be able to get your water and things like that. But we yeah. love it in Tennessee. And also there's a lot of Cracker Barrels in like the Chattanooga area, Knoxville, Nashville, so that's really handy because you can stay at those for free as well. Yes, we love, just one tip, <laughs> we do love going to Chattanooga. It's such a fun oh, place. It's gosh. a great place to go. <laughs> if you want to just park your van, you can park it literally right by downtown and then just go walking around. It's a really yeah. cool place to go and hang out. Next up is North Carolina. You might not think of this state as one of the best van life states, but you get the beaches and the mountains. I mean, why not go there? And then the Blue Ridge Parkway, oh, that is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's really amazing. Obviously, like we said, it shares the border with Tennessee, so you have a lot of similarities of having campgrounds and things like that there. Yeah. But what we really love is it's really diverse. So like Molly said, you can be in Asheville right across the border from Tennessee <laughs> and have a really cool downtown mountainous area mm -hmm. and then drive to the beach and go to South Port, which is another one of our favorite places yes. <laughs> and you can hang out there as well it's a really cool state and we love going there for van life stuff next is colorado now this is one that you probably were all <laughs> expecting to be on the list this is an amazing place to go van life they have tons of free land they have tons of water camping you name it and other van lifers the other two that we mentioned you're not going to find a ton of van life but once you get to colorado don't you you see vans all oh, over the yes. place it's a really cool place to go uh we love everything in Colorado. <laughs> it's a really cool place. We love the Rocky Mountain National Park area, so that'd be Boulder, Estes Park, and we also love the Great Sand Dunes down in the south. Yeah, there's three national parks in the state. I mean, you just can't beat it. Yeah. <laughs> Next up on the list is Utah. I mean, you guys probably expected that, but Utah is like the home of van lifers. When you go into the state, you automatically feel like you're part of this awesome community because there are vans everywhere. Yeah, it is a really cool yeah. place to go. You definitely, just like Colorado, you you feel like you're in the right spot. Um, and there's a lot of options. There's obviously, like Molly said, uh, Moab is like really popular. We also love the Salt Lake area as well. Yeah. Next on the list is Wyoming. So this is one that you're again, you're probably not gonna have like number one on your list, but it's a really great option. So we love the national parks. Obviously that's like a go-to for anybody in Wyoming, Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. But also we really love the Shoshone area. That's a really great place. Yeah. So Wyoming doesn't have like public land, the BLM land or anything like that, but it does have a lot of public land like dispersed campgrounds that are completely free that you can just drive up and stay at. So that's yeah. a really great place to go. We love going there and just spending some time out in the open. And in the Wyoming desert, yes, there's a desert there. The sunsets are just, they blow our minds. <laughs> yeah, they're really gorgeous. Now we had to add one more and it's an honorable mention. So this is Arizona and we kind of chose this one um, that's on and off the list just because it gets so hot there that sometimes it's not a good choice for van life. <laughs> yeah, unless you have an air conditioner, which is great, but yeah. we don't and this is our list. So uh, we, left the, we left it off like the main ones for that yeah. reason. Uh, we found it kind of hard to get water there as well sometimes. Um, so we loved it there though. There's a lot of really cool spots to sleep and the sunsets are gorgeous as well. Yes. Uh, we love, I mean, you can't beat the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Great place to go and like spend some time in your van and stuff like that. And there's just so much to explore and do and see with your van. Um, and then like Ty said, all of the land to sleep on is amazing. You're not really going to have a hard time sleeping there. Let's just yeah. say that. That's going to do it for our list today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> go back and check last week's video 
or two weeks ago video, whatever it was, <laughs> of what to do and what not to do for traveling to get yourself prepped for going to these awesome states, as well as go check out our video of Utah. So we took a video of like our time that we spent in Utah, it's a really great place, and uh, we wanna share some of our experiences with you because we saw a lot of really cool stuff. But that's gonna do it, like I said, for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next week with a new one. Bye, Bye guys.